Well, the thing is when everybody has the ability to be right and we all get to the same places, we end up looking a little the same. And so if everybody's right, maybe we're all a little tiny bit wrong. Um, the important thing, I guess, is that once you get to a place that's right, you just keep going and you keep going to a place that is interesting. Um, in order to do that, obviously, you need to be a little brave, um, you need to be a little weird, you need to be generous with the people around you and make it a safe environment for people to actually try and go to those places um, and ultimately be interested because if you don't have the kind of the commitment to actually making it happen, then you don't get to those really interesting places. Our, our company's done um, some really diverse bits of work around the world. Um, one of the examples that I used was the Love Has No Labels work that we did out of LA, um, which was for the Ad Council. Um, and the premise was to basically uh, break down the borders or break down the barriers of, of difference between people um, and show that love is a kind of a unifying force. Um, the right thing to do would have been just to kind of tell that story quite straight and say, look, you know, we're on the inside, we're all the same. The interesting way to do it is they, they built a, uh, an X-ray installation in the middle of a public place and had people behind the screen and all you could see was their skeletons and so you obviously couldn't see any difference whatsoever until they popped out the sides. And so the thing was uh, going through and showing that on the inside we're literally all the same and you can see it. Um, but then you start to understand that actually the difference on the outside is irrelevant. Data is going to be an ongoing thing. Um, I think maybe we're reaching a point of maturity in, in data where we're starting to realize that unless you're asking good questions of data then all you just have is too much data and no idea how to use it. Uh, I think there's going to be um, a big part of it is about privacy and, and being sensitive to um, perhaps some of the overzealous targeting that the industry has been sort of a little bit guilty of in, in, in data management, certainly in, in, in Europe. Um, I think we're going to have to embrace the idea that brands are really actually still quite important. We got very obsessed for a time, the industry distracted itself a little bit from just going to the optimization of the things that we had to be as effective and as efficient as we could. Um, and we kind of left behind some of the kind of the true heart of what we're trying to do. Um, and what that ultimately meant is we went to points of relevance where we need to go further and look at resonance.